Today, I'm going to talk about something that I've been thinking about doing for a while now. My favorite amusement parks I've been to. I have not been to a whole lot of parks, and unfortunately, I was supposed to be visiting many new parks this year, which of course did not happen. But as it stands, despite the low number of parks I've experienced, which is 13 permanent parks, I'm fortunate to have experienced several quality parks throughout my life because of the great location I've always lived around in Northeast Ohio. So let's get to the list. First, I want to mention three parks that didn't quite make my top five, but these are really good parks that I really wish I could have fit in there, and these are Holiday World, Kennywood, and Waldemere. Waldemere is a small park, but it has a great collection of rides, including the Star Attraction Ravine Flyer 2, one of my all-time favorites, as I'm sure you all know. Kennywood is also another great traditional amusement park, which has such a unique collection of rare rides that you can't really find anywhere else. There's just so much history here, but they also blend in a lot of modern, cutting-edge attractions as well, which is really nice to see. Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. If I had visited this park more recently and it was more fresh in my mind, I feel like maybe it would have been higher and in my top five. I mean, everybody loves Holiday World. You have the free soft drinks. It's just a great atmosphere. They have a small but really, really solid collection of roller coasters. Unfortunately, when I went in 2015, I didn't get to ride Legend as it was closed for retracking. And since I wasn't an enthusiast at the time of visiting, I didn't really look at things the same way I would now if I went to a park. So I wasn't putting too much thought into it, but I had a great time at this park. Raven Voyage and Thunderbird are all fantastic coasters, and I cannot wait to get back to Holiday World. Starting off the proper list here, I put Carowinds at number 5. This might be a bit low for many of you, but honestly, this should just speak to the quality of all the parks on this list that I have Carowinds at number 5. For me, Carowinds is absolutely an amazing park, but I did find that because of their collection of coasters dropping off significantly in quality after my number 4 favorite coaster there, that just really kind of dampered things for this park as far as placement on this list. And a really big thing I noticed too was just the lack of shade at this park. It's more of like a concrete jungle. I mean, everything looks nice, but it's kind of like Cedar Point where it looks great, but it doesn't really have a lot of the natural beauty, which my number four pick does, and that is King's Dominion. I put King's Dominion a little bit over Carowinds. I honestly was really surprised at King's Dominion when I got to this park. I mean, I was going in expecting this to be an okay park with a pretty decent collection of coasters, basically just a really good top three coasters and then maybe not much else after that. I really had an amazing time at this park. It's absolutely beautiful. I did not know how beautiful this park was, and then I walked in and I was just stunned. I mean, you have that amazing looking Main Street right when you walk in the park. You walk beyond that and you have tons of shade, lots of foliage all throughout the park. Everything just looks beautiful here. It's very well kept up, great operations from my experience. And this is another park I absolutely really want to get back to. And I find that along with their top three coasters, they have a really solid collection of supporting coasters as well. Before I get into the number three spot, I want to say that these top three could kind of be interchangeable. And some of you may be surprised how I place some of these parks. But getting into number three, I put Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This park is absolutely amazing in pretty much every way that you can think of. The operations were really good. They have an amazing collection of rides, tons of family stuff, lots of entertainment. Everything looks absolutely gorgeous here. Of course, it's in the Smoky Mountains, so you have amazing views from a lot of the coasters here. And their coaster collection... Not a huge coaster collection, but they have nine coasters, which is pretty good. And of course, they have Lightning Rod, Thunderhead, Tennessee Tornado, Wild Eagle, and several great family coasters as well. Pretty much everything about this park is spot on. I've never been to another park like Dollywood and that pretty much everything here is perfect. And you're probably thinking, well, why isn't this at your number one? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know why it's not at my number one, honestly. I've thought about putting it at my number one spot. Like I said, these top three are interchangeable. They're really close. The thing is, though, even though the two parks ahead of Dollywood are amazing parks and they do a lot of things really well, there are other things that they don't exactly excel in. In my experience, Dollywood excelled in 
every area possible. Live entertainment, rides, food, the overall attractions, the charm, the theming. I mean, everything here was just perfect. You can go watch my review for much more in-depth thoughts. I could go on all day about what this park has to offer. But if you have not been to Dollywood, you should absolutely make it a point to get to this park. At number two, I have Cedar Point. Yeah, Cedar Point... I just, I had to put it at number two. If I'm really being honest with myself, I mean, I've been saying for a long time that Cedar Point is my favorite park. I mean, these are extremely close. I want to emphasize that. All of these parks in the top three are extremely close. Cedar Point, it's an amazing park. Let's just talk about what makes it so great. Basically, the coasters. I mean, Cedar Point has the best collection of roller coasters in the world, no doubt, in my opinion. Everything about the coasters is great. The operations are fantastic. I mean, really, really good operations here. Great operations, great coasters. Food, eh, it's kind of hit or miss depending on who you ask. I've enjoyed most of the food I've had here. Unfortunately, Cedar Point could use some newer flat rides, and they definitely need a dark ride. They're sorely lacking like a dark ride. This park does not focus on theming, so I'm not going to ding Cedar Point for not having any theming. I mean, that's not really what Cedar Fair does, and especially Cedar Point. One thing that I wish Cedar Point did have more of are, like, trees and foliage all around the park. Cedar Point used to be populated by tons of cedar trees, hence the name of the park. But as the park has become fully developed, a lot of those trees have been torn down. Besides, like, Frontier Trail, which is still very much its, like, own experience. It feels like you're in a whole different area altogether. Cedar Point is a fantastic park. I'm extremely lucky to call it my home park, and I have for my whole life. Let's uh, let's talk about my number one park. Kings Island is at number one. I've had the pleasure of visiting Kings Island several times throughout the past couple years. And every time I go to this park, I'm just amazed by how great the operations are. They basically have the great operations of Cedar Point. The staff is just so friendly here. The atmosphere of the park is really, really nice. They have the natural beauty to go along with it. There's some natural beauty in there. I mean, they have 14 roller coasters, so there's a great collection of coasters. Maybe they don't have that one signature ride that really, really stands out, no doubt, among the rest, like other parks do. But overall, the collection of coasters is fantastic. A great solid collection of supporting coasters along with a great top five in my opinion. I haven't had much food here. I think it's pretty standard you know for Cedar Fair food but the staff here is great. There was one emergency situation I had during one of my visits to Kings Island in 2019 and the staff here were just so amazing at accommodating that and they were very very helpful. The staff at this park just really friendly great atmosphere. The park looks beautiful and there's so much history here and I feel like you can really feel that as you're walking throughout the park and also when I go to Kings Island I don't feel like I have to like rush myself like I just enjoy kind of strolling around at a more relaxed rate and just enjoying everything taking everything in it's just such a good park all around in my opinion it's kind of the best of both worlds I mean you have the huge world-class coaster lineup but then you have the great charm and the history and everything about this park in my opinion is great and honestly I, I just had to put it at number one I had to be honest with myself this is my favorite park I've been to as it currently stands Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Teespring store, which has a lot of awesome Coaster Daddy merchandise. And also subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And be sure to let me know your favorite amusement parks you visited as well. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.